morning, happy Saturday, welcome to my weekend vlog. I decided to vlog all weekend because I have fun plans this weekend and it's a gorgeous day outside. It's about 10am, I just made the most delicious iced Americano with dairy free cold foam. It's the first time I've ever made it. It was really, really, really yummy. I was going to do some reading, but I feel like it's so sunny. I kind of want to just get up, actually. What's on the agenda for today? Great question. Long, luxurious, slow-paced, relaxing weekend. I'm going to Reforma Pilates in two and a half hours. I'm going to take you with me. And I have to film a YouTube video today. And I want to do my nails and get some DIY beauty treatments in. And that is all I know that I'm doing today. I need a proper coffee glass, by the way. But this cold foam and iced Americano is absolutely stunning. So basically, I got coconut collab dairy-free like whippable cream. I was going to use Oatly, but to be honest, I don't really like dairy cream alternatives because of how many like emulsifiers and stabilizers and stuff they got in them. So I try not to get them too often, but the coconut collab one seemed to have less like gunk in it. I added a bit of vanilla and popped it in my Nutribullet so I don't have a hand whisk and just whipped it for like a minute till it became really, really thick. Alternatively, if you don't have a hand whisk or a blender, you can put it in like a jar and just shake it. Just make sure you put like a bit of napkin around the lid because it does go everywhere. I did two espresso shots with caramel syrup and then put them over ice with some just cold water to dilute it. And then I just poured my cold foam over the top and it was... Mwah. It feels quite strong though. I haven't had like a double espresso in ages. I probably could have just got away with just having one. We did a food shop last night as well. So I have yummy stuff for breakfast. I will check in with you shortly. <laughs> I stupidly picked off the scab from where I burnt my scalp <laughs> on my curler last week. I also picked off what was left of my eyelash extension. So I just, you know, I, mean, I was feeling really, really not cute. Shower after I've worked out. I've got a new top for working out in. I ordered a top from Adenola for working out in not that long ago and I had to return it. I did open it on my one of my vlogs, I think. Maybe I did. Basically, it was just a little bit too big. It's like a tank bra top. I ordered the brown and I feel like it's a bit of a faux pas, but I've reordered it in black. Although I feel like this is now gonna be too small for me. It is the ultimate tank bra in black in a small. So I had the medium last time and it was all right. It was just a little bit baggy, like on the cut up here. And I struggle a bit because I've got quite a small, like band size, but quite a large cup size. To this day, the best style of sports bra top things that are like this are the Gilly Hicks ones because they do a curvy range. So I get the small curvy and it just fits perfectly up here. Since I ordered the medium in the brown, I have put on like a little bit of weight around my chest. So this might be a smidge too small for me. That is way too small. Do you know, it's not even that like around the middle is too small, around here is perfect. The cup is just too small. Look, I'm like busting out the side. It is a little bit small around here, but like this bit works. It's just the shape of it. Look, like these straps, if they were like here, it would literally be fine, but it's that they're so close in. So I got an Adenola voucher for my birthday. So I ordered like a three piece set. So it was this in the brown the jacket in the brown and the leggings. When you return something to Adenola, it's not free returns, they take three pound off of it. So I keep just getting three pound taken off every time I return something. I feel like you can't see them, but I'm wearing my like Pilates flares things. Let me stand on the bed so you can see these things. So I've just been listening to my audio book when I tidy and I've been listening to Friendaholic by Elizabeth Day and the last chapter literally just made me cry while I was tidying my room. Can recommend it, but it is a little bit of an emotional one. I've got the window open, so there's probably a lot, a lot, a lot of background noise. So I wasn't actually gonna try film my Pilates class because I get scared filming in public, but my friend literally has like no fear about filming in public and she filmed on her phone her Pilates class last time. She just sat up in the corner. So I'm really tempted to try do the same thing. A Saturday class is really scary to me, so we'll see. Now that I'm here in my full Pilates princess outfit, it feels a bit like a meme. Like it feels 
like a joke. I feel like people will judge me for looking like this when in reality they won't. I've got the Uggs on, the flares, the Adenola. I'm back from having a coffee, I had a really nice time. Although the sun went in, which was sad because I was expecting it to still be gorgeous outside when we finished. I haven't actually gone to Pilates in like two weeks, so I found it really challenging. It was really tough. Recording yourself working out is so, so humbling. I didn't crack out my camera because I didn't have a tripod, so I just propped my phone up, as you can see, and recorded myself on that. I'm actually really glad I did that. I'm really proud of myself um, because I've never done that before and I was really, really nervous about it. But I just tucked myself in the corner, made sure I didn't record anyone else. And it, you know, it was actually fine. I think I was just being a big baby. I was gonna film a video that would be ready for me to upload tomorrow. And to be honest, I think given the week I've had, I'm not going to rush to edit or film. I think I will film on Monday and have it uploaded and edited ready for next week. Now, normally I don't like to skip an upload, but I think if I'm completely honest, I've had a really stressful week at work and I would really just like to prioritise not rushing anything this weekend and just moving at like a nice slow pace. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hop in the shower. I wanna do some tidying. I wanna get my nails done. I don't know if I'll do that today or tomorrow, but we'll see. I think I'm saving my hair wash for tomorrow only because I might still work out tomorrow. I got a PR box from Nivea, which is so exciting. And this was in it. I'm trying that out and it's so, so nice. I'm not just saying that because I was gifted it but it's like a little bit thinner than Nivea Soft. It still has that Nivea smell, but it smells a little bit different to the Nivea Soft one. It's just really, really nice. So one thing about me is I absolutely love a slow paced weekend. I'm a little bit of an extroverted introvert. So a perfect weekend for me is basically exactly what I'm doing now. I feel like it comes as a surprise to people that I'm not like hugely sociable. In a weekend, if I'm gonna see one of my friends, I like to see someone maybe Saturday and Sunday, even that can be a bit much. And I'll schedule to see people like a couple of hours at a time. Just really recharge my batteries by spending time like at home, being cozy, getting organized, being on top of my like life admin. I feel like as well recently, I've had a bit of a turbulent time. So now more than ever is when I need that time to rest and recharge, especially after like, a long week or an emotionally stressful week. It's the little things for me, you know? I'm just really into a slow pace of life and sometimes I feel like I should be doing more. So I was gonna do my nails, but really like the last thing I wanna do is sit for two hours and do builder gel, even though I'm really enjoying short nails at the moment. So I'm thinking about going out and getting some press-ons and just doing press-ons because I've been wanting to do my nails for ages. I've like said I'll do it for the last two weeks, but I don't know. I think I am gonna do press-ons, but I think I'm gonna do them tomorrow because I've planned to wash my hair and I feel like putting press-ons on and then sitting in the bath and washing my hair, it just makes them last less long. I feel like this is a boring vlog already. Let's relax with the negative self-talk and put my hair back in a lovely bun. I'm not going out or anything tonight. I've got no Saturday night plans and honestly, I could not be more excited. I think I'm gonna watch the Love is Blind reunion. I said I'm gonna tidy and tidy is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna lie, it's like not really that messy in my room. There's just like random bits of clothes that need putting away, like some PR that I need to like put away and throw away the box. I wanna do my dresser cause it's just got like junk on it. You know, that kind of thing. I've got some parcels that I need to like sticker up and get ready to return. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Now I feel bad because I feel like this vlog has gone really boring really quickly, but I need to stop doubting myself. This is where I do my makeup and it gets 
disgusting. Before I get started, I got some PR. I got some PR from Maria Nila. Never heard of this brand before, but I'm looking forward to trying it. It's Maria Nila. It's like a Swedish brand. They sent me some really beautiful looking hair products. So I got the head and hair heel shampoo. I got this hair mask that I'm really looking forward to trying because I really like the packaging look. It's like a finishing hair treatment. It's called hair, head and hair heel. And you put it in for like three minutes and then rinse it out. It's like an intensive cream. Let me know if you've tried that brand before because I'd be really interested to know what you think. now really really tidy and it's kind of dark and I'm not gonna lie I did some gardening before I tidied my room so I got like really into it I was really hungry I haven't really eaten a lot for lunch today and it's nearly six o'clock but I made myself a little pre-dinner snack it's really gross but I've got some gyozas with some soy sauce honey chili crisp sesame seeds spring onions and coriander <coughs> and I'm gonna watch some TV. I'm just watching some Sex and City. I had that on in the background. I don't really know what I'm doing next. I'm thinking I'm gonna edit some of the footage I took of me and Pilates today because I wanna post some on my Instagram story, but we'll see. really tasty dinner but I'm not gonna lie I wasn't that hungry so I just had like sauteed spring greens like stir fried and then I had some mackerel on top so I still made too much though I had loads to eat before dinner that's why I'm not gonna lie it's 10 to 9 and I forgot to record I feel like my evenings are really relaxed and really chill so I just like don't think to record and I don't really like the lighting as well. It's very yellow. I said I was gonna do like at home beauty treatments today, um, like my nails and my eyebrows, but I just didn't fancy it. I'm gonna do them tomorrow. So I'm gonna sign off for the evening. I'm gonna get changed into some PJs. I don't know whether I'm gonna play some Xbox or read. I feel like I probably should read because I haven't been doing that for ages, but we'll see when we get there. I will see you first thing bright and early on Sunday morning. Good morning, rise and shine. It's 11 a.m. Proper Sunday lion today for me. I had loads of grand plans to go for like a run, to be super productive, but it's 11 a.m. and that's kind of where I'm at. I, do, I don't know if you can hear it, but everyone in my house is like tidying and on like a cleaning rampage, which love that energy for you but you know when it's like not where you're at and then you feel bad about not cleaning my legs really hurt from pilates yesterday otherwise i would go for a run still but i think today is gonna be a wardrobe clear out day and beauty maintenance treatments so first thing so i have a bunch of stuff i want to list on vintage so we're going to do that first i want to wash my hair and have an everything bath because i'm helping someone out tomorrow with shooting some clothes so i need to shave i want to laminate my eyebrows i want to do my nails let's get up let's do it we are going to have a productive sunday i started with a new retinol and i literally only put it on for the second time last night and i was hoping that because i felt like my skin was in quite a good place that I wouldn't purge. And I feel like I've woken up this morning and I can see like all of the areas that I'm starting to purge. It's fine, it's just part of the process. I might just have to start wearing makeup to work again. <laughs> That's the bath, what you can hear in the background. But I've started with the Geek and Gorgeous 0.05 retinol, I think. I've switched off Dermatica after like, not being on it since about December. <sighs> a lot 
lots of clothes. This is already pre-sorted. What I usually do is make a TikTok video of me trying everything on and then upload it and upload everything on my Vinted on the same day. I find that I'm pretty good at throwing clothes away. I feel like I should probably eat before I do this, but you know when you're like caught in the flow, you're caught in the vibe. I'm selling loads of gym stuff, although I'm a little bit scared to sell some of it. So I've had these like six years or whatever, if that. They're still really good condition. They're Gymshark, so I know someone will really like them, but I haven't worn them in three years, but also like I shouldn't throw away Gymshark leggings. But that's why it's a good opportunity to try everything on. I'm not gonna lie, one thing I've been really bad at is replacing the stuff that I get rid of. I oftentimes sell things and don't actually replace them. A lot of this is really old. I'm wondering if I should charity shop this because it's a little bit broken. I feel like all I do is constantly get rid of clothes and I still have more and I don't even have like that many in the grand scheme of things. I feel like you all see me wear the same clothes really regularly. I'm gonna sell shoes as well. I've got some fluffy boots that I wanna sell that I haven't worn in two winters. And I've got some Nike Vapor Max that I'm selling that I haven't worn in bloody forever. Literally don't remember the last time I wore them. I'm wondering whether I make a TikTok video or if I just upload this stuff because it's just like another step to have to try everything on, isn't it? Don't be lazy, make the TikTok video. People will like it and it really helps people when buying stuff. Brand new, I just cannot do it up anymore. Let's pop that there. To be honest, you don't have to be very like good with photos for Vinted. I say good and I don't mean like take a bad photo, but I mean you don't have to have a photo of it on. I can't believe that's a UK 6. I usually do one up front and then one at the back. And I'm not really fussed about making money. I usually do everything quite cheap, like under £10 unless it's really brand new or like branded. I'm not really in it for like making money or anything, although the extra money will be nice and I am trying to save up a lot more money at the moment. I would never have done Vinted actually if it wasn't for my wonderful TikTok audience. And the stars that you are, I actually did previously have like a paid ad with Vinted, which was so exciting, especially because it was a brand I was using anyway. And that's just like the main goal for me of influencing is to work with brands that I'm already using. I would like to reiterate that in this instance, I'm not working with them at all in like a paid or other capacity. Right, so with Victoria's Secret stuff, you have to take a photo of the label as well. I have so much Victoria's Secret stuff because I actually used to work there. I'm not gonna lie, I did quite enjoy working there. Like I got a lot of free stuff, my customers were nice. Just got to a point where I was like, I really need to leave. I feel like all retail stores just have so many of the same problems with like management and how things are done. And I was just ready to live a slightly different quality of life. So that was my last job um, before my office job that I'm in now. If you watch my TikTok, you'll know this dress. This is the six pound Opoly dress that I got. It's new with the tags on. It's like archival Opoly, you know, like really ancient. The very tight squeeze around the knees. That being said, I was like a stone lighter when I bought this, which is fine. It doesn't matter, but it's definitely not gonna fit me now. And I was already on the fence about selling it. So sell we will. I usually keep most of my clothes regardless of the size, to be honest, because weight does fluctuate. That's just like a human thing. But this is all just stuff that I haven't worn. This is one of my favourite dresses. I love it so, so, so much. But it just does not fit me. I love this. This is one of my favourite dresses. But I literally wore it like twice for a holiday. And then never wore it again. And also all of these patterns on the front. This one here stretches out in a really weird way so me and Doug took like a beautiful photo together on holiday of us two and we literally couldn't post it because the way it curves around your stomach um it looked like a pregnancy reveal so obviously I worked in retail for like god how many years like eight nine nearly 10 years. So as a natural byproduct, I've accumulated a lot of stuff and I would say what takes up the most space is shoes because I have like a really soft spot for shoes. I buy a lot of shoes and never wear them. I know that's really, really terrible in terms of like consumer goods, but I used to work for like an expensive shoe company. So I don't want to get rid of them because I want to keep them. Like I go through my clothes like three, four, five times a year. 
I'm constantly like assess and evaluate. I think that's probably a contributor to my sense of personal style as well because I'm constantly reviewing. And I have a few rules on like what I can and can't buy new. So I've had a no coats rule for the last two winters maybe. One thing about me is I'm bad, I buy a lot of coats. Doug definitely has way more clothes than me and definitely way more shoes. He is a bit more fashionable me than me. He tends to invest in stuff that's like better quality and overall more expensive. So he usually has to resell stuff or he just keeps it all because you know it'll come back round. He wears a lot of Supreme, a lot of Carl Buxton, like Warren Lotus, like brands that are like more premium streetwear, I guess. These are brand new with the tag on. I love them so much, but they were just a smidge too small. I bought them in the COS sale and then I didn't return them in time, which is so unlike me. I am like so hot on my returns usually. I'm not gonna lie, I have like so many pairs of shoes that I should probably sell, but I just cannot bring myself to get rid of them. I feel like these are a good keep. I don't know if these are cute anymore. Someone help me out. These are the Fenty Pumas from like six years ago and I got them professionally cleaned and then the same day I wore them out clubbing. They are like, they're a really nice cream suede. I feel like with the resurgence of Samba and like gum soles, these might be quite cute. Like I feel like they're a cute way to revive this trend without buying new shoes. I don't know if the shape I don't know if the shape is like wrong. I've got to make a decision. I've either got to wear them or I've got to get rid of them because these have been sat in a cupboard for a really, really long time. <gasps> I think I'm gonna to have to keep these. I got these for like, literally like 15 quid. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna start filming my video for TikTok. I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably not gonna include you because it's just gonna be like boring footage of me trying on and talking to the camera so i'll come back oh my god i'm done i fucking hate that job literally had that on my to-do list for like actual weeks look when i tell you weeks i mean weeks thinking about doing my nails i'm always thinking about doing my nails I'm trying to decipher what the weather is because i'm deciding whether i want to go get a pair of press-ons you know, and it's like small thing that will make you feel better but I want to do it with like the lowest effort. I think I am going to walk to Superdrug and see what nails they've got because I haven't left the house today. The weather doesn't look like it's raining. I've had a bit of a mood swing and I feel like really really grumpy all of a sudden but I think I need to eat. What's wrong with me? I feel like so grumpy and depressed. It's definitely because I'm hungry isn't it? I'm back. I've got my nails. I'll show you them in a minute. I'm not even coat off and scarf off and I'm eating a scone. Um, I did cream and jam. I know this is a lifelong debate about what the order is, but I did cream first and jam. I just prefer it that way. I went to the Asian supermarket and I got some like fried tofu because I've got like miso soup and ramen -y type dinners planned this week. And I got these to have right now, which I'll show you because they are unreal. These are like tempura seaweed deep fried deliciousness. They sell them in Tesco. If you've ever had them, they are like what I would consider the perfect beer snack as well. Literally like tempura deep fried seaweed. I'm a little bit of a bath time girly. I got this for Christmas, completely forgot about it. I'm gonna put this on. This is today's shampoo and conditioner, my first shampoo. Absolutely love this product. I'm gonna listen to some Lynette Adkins while I'm in the bath. This is my absolute favorite YouTube girly at the moment. She is just, oh, just everything about her I love. I'm quite literally sat on the bath right now. I have my MacBook and I'm recording on photo booth because I didn't want to set up my tripod and I was watching some vlogs, excuse the shocking quality. This bath is an integral part of my Sunday routine. It is my weekend bath. And I set up my laptop or my phone and I watch other YouTubers. 
I watch new YouTubers, I watch vlogs, just whatever takes my fancy and I have a big everything bath. I wash my hair, I shave, I do a conditioning treatment, I have a very hot bath. I find this space really meditative, which is probably why I shouldn't be recording right now. It sounds really lame, but I find it like charges me up. It helps me seek inspiration. It helps me gather energy for the week. This is a very, I think, ritualistic space for me to be in. I love having a bath. I have them like two, three times a week, but my weekend bath is like the big one for me. To share my bath thoughts today, I feel very inspired from watching other people. I'm currently watching a YouTuber called Cam Does It, who I've never watched before. I'm thinking about my weekend vlog, I guess, and like how I've carved out time for this and how I can't wait for the point where I'm able to do like a weekly vlog. Like so many of my favorite YouTubers do a weekly vlog. It's just like a week in their life. They're usually full-time content creators, which is why I haven't done one yet. But like, I can't wait for that point in my life. For me, I'm like manifesting that in the bath right now on a Sunday in March. I think I'm trying to reframe my Sunday scaries into something other than scary, into Sunday what ifs, into Sunday manifesting, into Sunday optimism. But anyway, I just thought it might be nice to share that with you because this is a little bit of space I carve out for myself every weekend and that could look different for you. Be It could be a lion, it could be a walk, but let me know what your like little weekend ritual is. I'd love to hear it. Leave this, okay? I've just got to put this in here, cover it with water and then leave it for five minutes. Teeny bit spicy, really nice and chewy. Missing something. I've added spring onions and that's it because I wanted to try them as they're meant to be tried. I really like the texture of the noodles, really nice. Could do with a bit more soy sauce or something. I'm squeaky clean, I'm out the bath. I've gotten super distracted, I'm not gonna lie to you. I carried on watching YouTube when I got out the bath, um, completely ignoring the fact that my bed is still covered in clothes. I've been watching Mary Skinner's latest vlog. I love her YouTube and I've been picking my skin, which I feel like you can't really see. But yeah, I just like went in on a few areas, which is silly of me. Right, so my hair is all washed. I am just gonna do a little hair treatment. I haven't done this in ages because I'm super, super lazy, but I'm gonna do the keratin leave-in mask. Lots of people say to do this in lieu of conditioner. I personally like to use it after conditioner, so I double up on my conditioner, but maybe that's just because I've got really thick hair. One pump for each side. I've brushed my hair and separated it into two, and then you're just gonna emulsify it till it becomes like a white paste on your hands. And then you're just gonna pat it all over your hair. With the residue, you can re-emulsify it, and it like picks up some more. So do that on one side, and then you just need to brush it through with a brush or a comb. So I'm watching the Love is Blind reunion and I'm about to do my nails. I am really just going to do the bare minimum. Um, I'm not going to like do my cuticles, I'm just going to chuck these on. I'll show you what I got. But these are like my second favourite pair from Kiss. They're really nice. They're not too long. Um, they're a little bit curved on the top for me. So I just like to file them down so they're a bit more square. But I think they'll just give me a little extra boost, you know. Just feeling good, feeling confident. It's half four. I have to film a TikTok still because I need to film a hair like blow dry tutorial. But I'm going to whip these on because my room's really messy. I was going to film myself putting them on. But you're all just going to have to live without it. To be honest, it's a press on nail, babes. You'll be okay. And I'll show you them when I'm done because I really want to watch this episode of the show as well. And I just feel like that's not very compelling vlogging of me. New nails. They're a little bit like ducky so i filed them to be a bit more square because they are like a little bit wide they flare a teeny tiny bit but do you know what for like a 5.99 press on i really don't think they're that bad i've been watching the sopranos so i feel like they're giving carmilla been in my like short nail era and these feel so long even though they're not that long i've just been like living for short nails i think i just need to get used to them they do look nice they do look nice don't they Love is Blind reunion is so juicy, by the way. Trevor, 
with his girlfriend before he went in, Chelsea really dodged a bullet. Also, fuck Jeremy. See, look, I'm doing it again. It's the, you get the nail hands, don't you? You just like become. I like, cannot comprehend how long it took me to film that Dyson tutorial and I didn't even record most of it because it's just like so easy. I couldn't find my hairpins either so it just made clipping it all up so much more difficult today. We're nearing the end of the day. It's like quarter past six. I'm gonna be really sensible. I'm eating dinner in like an hour-ish, 45 minutes and I'm gonna upload everything to Vinted and save it as a draft now. Um, and it will help me clear all this stuff off my bed because basically I left it all out because I thought, oh, well, I'm going to need to look at all of like the sizes and everything. So let's get started with that now. big my hair is girl I just had a really nice big family dinner with Doug's family in my barrister pin curlers hair I got everything uploaded and saved as a draft to vintage it's now just all on my bed and it needs tidying up and I finished filming my Dyson blowout for TikTok because the girlies were asking so that's been a really productive evening it's like 10 to 8 Doug's gonna come to bed soon because we said we want to watch The Sopranos all evening and eat a uh, berry crumble in bed. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm really looking forward to that. Can't get over quite how big my hair is. I feel like it's in need of a cut soon. I am gonna sign off for the evening. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It's a slightly different change of pace from my usual vlogs. It's a really nice time filming it. It's been really nice to vlog like a realistic, quiet weekend at home, to be honest. If you would like to see more of this vlog, specifically my like more low key weekends, please do let me know. It's been a makeupless vlog and that I've really enjoyed it. So if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you liked it. I hope you decide to stay and I will see you all on the next video. Mwah. Have a lovely rest of your week. <laughs>